there's a few things that have me convinced that it's already here and we better be prepared because it's almost too late there is a spiritual war coming on this earth that is already here and it is brutal and it is going to play out to the coming of God's kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. If you can imagine God's kingdom coming to earth, literally what has to happen to prepare and cleanse the earth for that perfect kingdom to literally be established here on earth as it is in heaven. And you better be prepared because the spiritual players involved in all that, many of them, they're already here and we could see that so many times over let's begin with the horsemen the white horsemen already here the last time that we saw the white horsemen in any way shape or form uh, in scripture was around 520 bc and it was zechariah that saw him and what was taking place when zechariah saw this white horseman was there was a change of power Ultimately, Babylon was the greatest empire on the planet, first empire on the planet. But yet, it was the Persians, King Cyrus, that conquered the Babylonians. And once the Persians established dominion and dominance on the earth as the greatest empire on the earth, then we see a moment in time in Zechariah, and we're going to pick it up in Zechariah 1, verse 7. On the 24th day of the 11th month, which is the month Shabbat, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Ido, the prophet. I saw by night, and behold, a man riding on a red horse, and it stood among the myrtle trees in the hollow, and behind him were horses, red, sorrel, and white. Then I said, My Lord, what are these? So the angel who talked with me said to me, I will show you what they are. And the man who stood among the myrtle trees answered and said, These are the ones whom the Lord has sent to walk to and fro throughout the earth. So they answered the angel of the Lord who stood among the myrtle trees and said, We have walked to and fro throughout the earth, and behold, all the earth is resting quietly. Ultimately what you had is you had these horsemen, the same horsemen we see in Revelation. These exact same horsemen are resting. They're essentially chilling out among the myrtle trees, resting, because they have established an exchange of power. They have established the rise of King Cyrus. And just looking at his rise to power is fascinating because they played a huge role. The white horsemen specifically played a huge role in his rise to power. He was ordained by God to do all the things that he did just like we're going to see in the end times. So take a look at the horseman part of Revelation if you haven't taken a look because we're already experiencing that. We're, we're there. That's what's happening. If you look at the rise of the Persian Empire and how King Cyrus came to power, you can see many of those exact same things playing out right now. The horsemen don't change because God doesn't change. And he orders and ordains those horsemen to do his bidding. But beyond that, the biggest piece is 2 Thessalonians. If we pick it up in verse chapter 2, verse 1. Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, our gathering together to him, we ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or troubled, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. So the Thessalonians, you know, he's writing them concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Essentially saying, I, I understand you're concerned about his coming, but, pick it up in three. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first. The falling away is taking place and has started in around January of 2020. The great falling away from the church. We all know it. Every time I put out a video that talks about this falling away or just pulling away from the church, my approval rating went from 95% to 99% thumbs up, specifically when I started addressing the troubles with the churches and warnings to the churches. And there's this massive falling away of people 
that are in full agreement that there's this clearly a falling away taking place unlike anything anybody in our lifetime has ever seen period let's go on and the man of sin is revealed the son of perdition who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or is that worship so that he sits as God in the temple of God showing himself that he is God and that's what the white horseman is here to do and then the black horseman is here to help with that process and then the green horseman is there to help with that process and the red as well because ultimately we're going to see the son of perdition the antichrist revealed when he sits in the temple one day in the very near future but we're already seeing everything paving for that um, and the falling away is what we're experiencing right now the great falling away and we're going to see exchanges of power specifically like we saw take place in babylon and in persia around 550 to about 500 bc the horsemen played all that out they were the ones who played all that out and you have to see it and now we have on top of that the great falling away it's just they are here. If you're not prepared, you're kind of almost pushing it too late. What I mean by prepared is spiritually prepared. It's a spiritual war. You better be ready because there's going to be a day where people like me will be outlaws because we will stand up for our Lord Jesus Christ in times of tribulation. And it is a war. It is our war. It is the war of the saints. And people act like, for some reason, they're just going to be raptured out just because they are somehow better than anybody else that has ever gone through tribulation uh, since the beginning of time. But no, it is our war, and you better be ready for it because it is coming. It is the warring of the saints. And right now, we're experiencing the great falling away. All of this is being manipulated by spiritual entities. We're seeing the great falling away take place, and now we're about to see the... The exposition of the Antichrist. And then eventually he's going to exalt himself in the temple of God and declare himself to be God. And then it's too late. No matter where you are, what you're doing, run. Because everybody's going to start turning you in. It's the warring of the saints. It, it's it, The spiritual entities that bring that about, they're already here. They're already at work. You have to see it. Love to hear your thoughts on all that. Put it in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel to Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests and so never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.